Thank you for coming this evening. It's going to be really informal. If you want to stop me and ask any questions, or feel free to maybe ask Mr. Bell and Mr. Barber any questions throughout the night as well. Uh, first of all, my name's Ian Lockhart. I'm a PE teacher within the department and the school, and I'm also the sports coordinator. So the sports coordinator role is working really closely with the active school secondary coordinator, so that's Stephen Bell. And Joe Waite, you might have heard of in the primary, is the, the primary active schools coordinator. So we work together really hard to come up with our active schools programme. So it's lunchtime clubs, after school clubs, but also looking at sports teams. So what we try and aim is basically to try and give as much opportunities for all the pupils when they come up to the academy. So it could be from table tennis club right to tennis, to swimming, to cricket, just loads and loads of opportunities within the department. Now, what we're trying to get into and what we're trying to use more of, and you might have seen um, a few weeks back, maybe a month now, is our Monifeith High PE Twitter account. Um, we did a, a wee bit of banter, a bit of fun about football transfer day. So basically, we had kind of sign-ups and, and football sign-ins of Cami Kerr at Dundee and other maybe formal pupils that might be playing for professional clubs. It was basically to get a little bit of recognition and to see what we're trying to do within the PE department in terms of advertisement and getting pupils involved in sport. Um, so that actually got so much success that the courier noticed all our feeds throughout the day, thought it was brilliant, and they managed to do a little evening report um, on our Twitter account and within the PE department. Now, why we're using this now is with the change of timetable, we don't have our form time. So the form time was every day for about half an hour. And this was an opportunity for us to speak to pupils or senior pupils could come around and basically advertise clubs, maybe tell them about competitions that were coming up, um, house games, etc. So now that we don't have that, the Twitter account is really our kind of main point with the plasma screens and the, the lower social area is the main advertisement and way of getting information out to parents, but also pupils at home. Now, if you don't have a Twitter account, you're going to download it when you get back into your house. If you don't know what Twitter is, then just ask your, your son, daughter. I'm sure they'll, they'll tell you what Twitter is. I know I asked my mum and dad and they, over their head, what's Twitter? What's a tweet? Um, but it's great. We're getting more and more followers. And if you can get on that, superb. Um, as long, oh, sorry, as well as sport and activities that we've got in the PE department, it's not the only thing that is going in the school in terms of clubs and extracurricular. We have, for example, a chess club. Now you see on the board across here. Uh, one of our science teachers runs a chess club on a Tuesday lunchtime. Sport and activity is not, is not for every pupil, um, so it's offering something different. We also have Mr. Barber runs a computing games club, also a lunchtime club. And again, that's very popular with junior pupils all the way up to senior pupils. Our technologies department have been fantastic over the last few years, or for a very long time, but very recently, um, they've been very successful. They just won the best club in Scotland the last two years um, for all the work that they've been doing. Now, some examples of this, um, and again, you'll be able to see this when you wander about and have a look, is the Formula One, so F1 in schools. So this was a national competition, and the pupils in Monty Feath ended up winning the Scotland competition and they went down to Silverstone in March and basically their project was to design a little model F1 car and it was they, they came up with the idea the looks the engineering behind it and they actually won part of the competition where they got this little model car down on the racetrack at Silverstone and they won the drag race they got this little thing with a gas canister to go over 60 miles an hour which was incredible from third year pupils at the time um, they just missed out, they had to do a presentation delivery and they just missed out in getting through to the next stage, which was the competition in Singapore. So we could have had many thief pupils going to Singapore, so they were gutted, um, but what an achievement. And the next thing, um, 
that they're going to start doing. And again, this is not through the curriculum time. This is just in their own time, lunch, lunch time, after school, is they're going to do something similar to Robot Wars. I don't know if you've seen Robot Wars before. So basically, if you haven't, it's the little robots models, and they used to fight each other, and it was like flamethrowers and saws and all this kind of thing to destroy the other robot car. Now, don't worry, we're not going to have flamethrowers and saws, etc., down in Turkey destroying the building. I know it's old, but we don't want it destroyed quite yet, but it's something similar. So they would design, and again, you can read this when you go by, a little kind of model robot car. Uh, they come up with ideas, and they can have little games and and designs, etc. Um, the last thing, or second last thing, that I'm going to talk about is with having lots of extracurricular clubs, and it's all a voluntary basis, is that we're looking for parents, carers, to help as volunteers to help with things like taking kids to games, taking kids to competitions. Now, why we ask that is because. When we get a bus, or if we can't get cars, we can't get volunteers to take them up to the venues, we organise a bus, and it costs quite a bit of money. And we ask each pupil for a fiver if it's with an Angus. If it's out with Angus or Dundee, then it's up to £10. Now, you can imagine if you've got two, three sons or daughters that are at school, and they take part in maybe swimming, or basketball club, or football club, or multiple sports, then that could add up to a small fortune just in a week. So that's why we try and get staff and parents involved to see if we can organise lifts. So what I would ask, if, if that is you, if you do say you know you're off on a Thursday afternoon and maybe the rugby club, they're having fixtures and we need to travel somewhere, put your name down here. We can give you a phone call. So we're not having pressure. We need you right now. Can you get here? If you're willing to take them, that would give a big, big help. The other thing is you might have some qualifications or you might want to volunteer. You don't need to have qualifications. You might be standing there saying that I'm a, a football coach or I've got real interest in tennis and I do a bit of coaching after school. I would really want to bring this to Monifee High School and help out and take this after school or lunchtime. If that is you and, and you do want to help with a football team, like I said, anything, Put your name down and, and we'll be in contact about that. Um, the last thing, we have a badminton competition and a little bit netball shootout with our senior netball girls. Um, if you're anything like your sons and daughters, I'm sure you've got a competitive edge. You've got a chance of getting your name on the leaderboard. If you manage to get into the top five, you'll be the top five best badminton servers of Monifeith parents. If you get into the top two, we'll give you a prize and go home. If you get into the top five as well, we're going to put it on Twitter and get your name out there and say these are the best five parents that managed to serve in. There's also a little opportunity to shoot the netball uh, at the netball hoops. And if you're successful at that and you get so many baskets within the time, you get some sweeties to take away for today. Um, only a few have done it tonight, though, so it is quite difficult. That's all for me. If you do have any questions, like I say, Mr. Bell, Mr. Barb and myself are here to have a little chat. Please have a look. There's loads of pictures. This is my favourite one of Ms. Placentino, Mr. Placentino's son. It's my favourite one. But have a little look. The timetable as well. Take a picture on your phone. Know when all the clubs are on, etc. Okay? Thank you. <laughs>